What's up everyone, it's your Void Boy here, and we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video today. I'm going to be doing a binder review on the two binders I've been using for the Korean Booster Box series. Just want to get out of the way that this video isn't sponsored. I did this with my own money and thought I would just give my, uh, my opinion of the two different brands I've been using. Also, I thought I would show my face to everyone. Hello. Now you don't have to just see my hands. Anyway, the two brands we're going to be doing are Ultra Pro and Faltex. I'll rank them on five different categories and we'll put those right here. Also, I just want to say that this is my personal opinion. If you have a different opinion, that's totally fine. This is just personally how I feel about them. these binders in particular. Before we get started, I'll go over a little bit of information about each one just in case you don't know who they are. Most people have probably heard of Ultra Pro. They've been around since 1952. They've been manufacturing their product basically since baseball cards have been around. If you have anything to do with baseball cards or or any sort of trading card game, you've probably heard the name Ultra Pro before. They sell to all over the United States, Europe, Asia. I believe they're based in Los Angeles, California, and they also have a second warehouse in the Netherlands. Vault X seems to be a little bit newer of a company. I couldn't find a lot of information on their website about them. From what I see, it looks like they primarily sell stuff through Amazon. They, they do sell stuff through their website as well, but they seem to be recommended on Amazon a lot. For me anyway, since I buy a lot of cards, stuff through Amazon, like top loaders, penny sleeves, etc. Uh, they're based in the United Kingdom. Uh, it looks like Dorset. So they're a little bit newer to the the competition. I know there's other binder other binder brands out there, like Monsters one, I believe. Um, not the energy drink. But I don't have one of those. Maybe I'll do a review of those as well, uh, compared to these ones. Just for a comparison of them over time, I have the Legends of Blue Eyes White Dragon binder I've been using and the Metal Raiders one, just so I can give some examples of how they look over a little bit of use. Anyway. Let's get into it. Here's the Ultra Pro. Uh, I got a pink one for Pharaoh's Servant for when we get to that set. The packaging on this is pretty basic. I'm not gonna judge them on the packaging because it's pretty standard. And that doesn't really have anything to do with the binders itself. So let's start by getting all the stuff out of it. So in general, the page qualities of Ultra Pro stuff has always seemed very good to me. Um, the only thing I've ever really had problems with personally is the stitching coming out of the pockets or maybe like a pocket breaking. Comparing it to another Ultra Pro Eclipse that has been used a bit, we can see the page quality uh, seems to stay the same after about like uh, two months of use. I will say though something I've noticed with Ultra Pro is these kind of scuffs you can see like right here. Those seem to be very prevalent over a short amount of time. They seem to kind of rub up against each other. I'm not sure why it does that. And I do find that some of the foils display a little dull in uh, Ultra Pro, but it does have very good page quality in general. Um, so I feel like it is protecting your cards. The straps on Ultra Pro binders, they feel like a good amount of loose and a good amount of tight, like they're not going to uh, bend into your cards over time, even with a little bit of uh, this that it gives into it. Um, I'm not sure if that is adding to maybe the that fogginess that we see on the pages, but it could have something to do with that. If we go over to the Ultra Pro website, we'll see that this binder does come in about 12 different colors, so you do have a range, if that's something that you're looking for, for just colors on a basic binder. They don't seem to change very much in price. For whatever reason, the smoke gray one is a dollar cheaper. And this pumpkin orange one is on sale. So you do have a wide variety of options for whatever color you want for a basic binder. And these ones do run pretty cheap around like $10. $10. So for price and variety, I'm gonna give Ultra Pro five out of five. For the page quality, we're gonna go ahead and give Ultra Pro a five out of five on that as well. I think they've set a standard that's uh, pretty good across the board for how the pages should be displayed. The only problems I have, I imagine, exist in all types of binders of this kind, especially when you're buying just the cheaper ones that are around 
page display, we're gonna go ahead and give them a four out of five on that. Um, the fogginess is something that kind of bothers me and I feel like the cards don't get as nice of a shine um, when they're foils. But I think where they make up for that is in the page quality. Strap, we're gonna give it a four out of five. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a problem over time. The strap seems to be a good elasticity, um, but I have had ones break on me before that have uh, longer use than these ones. They sometimes tend to tear around this area. Overall binder quality, I'm gonna give the Ultra Pro a five out of five. They do seem to have very nice uh, fronts and backs that seem like they give a good amount of protection, even for the cheaper ones. And I think in general, they do last over time pretty well, and they all store pretty nicely. Vault-Ax is next. I got this one for Spell Ruler. That's why I got it in green, since it's the next set. Um, again, packaging on these is pretty normal. Uh, the interesting thing is, though, this one has a little tab down here, so kind of convenient. So if we open this up, I feel like the, the page quality is about the same on vault -Ax as it is Ultra Pro. Like I said, Ultra Pro kind of set the standard, and I think these guys are following that standard. I haven't had anything break on me yet. Some of the pockets feel a little lighter. Stitching looks a little deeper in some of them. I'm not sure if that's necessarily true. Uh, the lighter pockets uh, might be better for not breaking. Uh, I'm not sure yet. That'll probably take some more time. And if we compare one that's already has stuff in it, you can kind of see how the cards display. I think the cards display a lot clearer in the vault -Ax ones. Um, some of the shines of the foils just shine through a little more, like that change of heart over there is just really shiny. And the page pockets don't seem to get that scuff as much, which is something that I definitely like. Things like secrets definitely shine through the annoying light over here. Now the strap on this new one feels a little bit looser than the strap on this one. I'm not sure if this is a little bit older of a uh, model or maybe I just got one with a really tight strap, but this strap is very tight. It's almost very concerning how it kind of bends down on here like this. I'm not a big fan of that too much. Um, it hasn't, hasn't damaged any cards yet, but I do start to see it kind of indent the, the pocket. So that's a little bit concerning. I've been keeping this one with the strap off a little bit, but the new one, the new one feels like it has a strap comparable to what Ultra Pro has, a little bit uh, lighter, a little tighter, where uh, I would like it to be. I mean, a little less tighter where I would like it to be. So I'm hoping this one has a better, a little bit better of a uh, strap quality and doesn't do what this other one did. So overall binder quality, I do think Ultra Pro has a little bit better of cover. I think these have a little bit lighter ones. They seem to kind of like bend in and cause indents a little more. Maybe it's just because that strap is a little bit tighter on this uh, Metal Raiders one. But I do think Ultra Pro has a little bit better quality on the outside of the binder. But this definitely displays cards much nicer than the Ultra Pro. If we go on over to the Vault-Ax website, you see that they only have these uh, six specific colors. Black, this nice sky blue, the green I have, red, white, and yellow. Um, their yellow looks really nice. They do have links to their Amazon for each country that they sell out of there. Uh, like I said, it looks like they do predominantly a lot of their shipping out of Amazon and whatnot. Um, but they do ship out of the United Kingdom for their website if you decide to buy from them directly. Uh, it looks like their binders run a little more expensive on their website. It looks like they all tend to run around $9.99 on Amazon with free shipping if you have Prime. So a little bit less on the variety of colors, but they do come Prime. They do come really fast to you. Uh, you can buy Ultra Pro on Prime as well, but I think they're a little more expensive on there and a little more difficult to find. It looks like Amazon definitely tries to push vault -Ax. So for overall variety, um, we're gonna give it a four out of five. It doesn't have as much color choices. You're kind of locked into six, but that can change. 
and that isn't really something I think is super big. The page quality, we're gonna give a five out of five. It has the same type of quality as the Ultra Pro, it seems. And I'm thinking maybe the lighter pockets might be a little bit better for overall breakage. Uh, page display, we're gonna give Vault X a five out of five. I really like how cards display in their binders. I think they have a really nice, sleek look. You flip through the binder, it looks real nice even with these glares that I have on here. But foils just pop out. You can tell what's a foil, what's not a foil. So we're gonna give that a five out of five, like I said. A strap, it looks like they're working on the strap on this. I do have two different ones, at least in quality. But this new one, I would give it the same grade as a, a Ultra Pro one, but this one I'm not super pleased with just because of how it seems to indent the top. Um, I would say this one probably has a three out of five. I do think the overall binder quality of the fronts is a little bit weaker, and when you have this heavy strap, it does seem to cause some indents, like up in here. And I do worry about damaging some of the cards. So we'll give that a four out of five. So if we go ahead and tally up these scores, it looks like they're both about the same. Maybe Ultra Pro comes in a little bit better on a quality, but I think the Vault-X comes in a little bit better on the page display side of things. I think Vault-X just looks nicer. I'd rather hand someone my Vault-X book than my Ultra Pro book, but I feel like the Ultra Pro book's gonna have a little bit better overall protection. Also, these are the cheapest binders that you can get, so I'm not exactly expecting full page quality. I'm not going to go and put like a hundred dollar card in something like this. I mean, the sets of Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards don't sell for very much in general. Most cards don't seem to go over like $10, $15, at least from these early sets, so I'm not too worried about putting one of those in there. Personally, I'll probably just switch between the twos depending on the colors I need. Uh, we might try to do different binders too. If this seems to be something that's liked as a video, we will do different binder reviews on the zipped binders or like bigger pocket ones. The reason why I picked these is because they're smaller binders. They have 160 slots, which tend to be the same size as Yu-Gi-Oh sets. So you can fit a whole set in one of these binders. Um, so it's really easy to separate them that way. You don't have extra space. That's why I didn't buy like bigger ones, but I could do a review on those maybe for different uh, things, any bigger sets or things that uh, I'd have more value on. But like I said, I'll probably go back and forth between the two depending on the sets. I do kind of lean more towards Vault-X on the display side of stuff. I, I just kind of wish they came in more colors and that the strap on my metal raiders one didn't seem so tight this one again this seems a little bit better so i'm giving it a little bit of leeway especially with them being a little bit newer of a company ultra pro is a much older company but i do think that their quality does speak for that anyway what do you think which binder would you use do you use these am i wrong am i right leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this video and you want to see more reviews on product leave a like don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you all again for all of your support. We'll get on to the next set of cards soon. Later!